Hey, this is Pam Perry. I have a book review. PamPerryPR.com. I have a book review. I just got this book in the mail, and every year at the end of the year, God always gives me a word. And it really, it's like a word for the year that I hold on to. So this year, the word was hope. And I had no idea what God was talking about hope. But really, I realized that having hope, meaning that our president, it may look bleak, but just have hope, and he won. All right, that was a good word. I really, and and in a lot of situations. Well, 2012 for me has been a challenging year, to say the least, of a lot of things that I've just been going through with my business. And I said, okay, Lord, what's the word for 2013? Well, I got this book in the mail, The Road to Redemption by Lucinda Cross. Oh, my God, I love this book. This is really where I am because 2013 is the year to really go get it. No matter what has happened, no matter if you had failed partnerships that went crazy or you've had clients that just went buck wild, <laughs> this is a book for Road to Redemption. This is where I am, and it is really, really a good book because it will teach you what's next. Everything that you need to do is already inside of you. You just need prayer. And you need to really just get buckled down and really just do it. The word is discipline. You need the discipline to really stick to it. You already have the the vision, but now you just need the discipline. You already have the dream. You just need the discipline. So the road to redemption, this is the one. If there's nothing else that you should do at the end of this year as you're kind of contemplating different things or whatever stage you're in, go to this and get this book, The Road to Redemption. It's on Amazon.com. I give it a five star by Lucinda Cross. Excellent book. And Lucinda, thank you so much. God was using you when you wrote this book, girl. So good job. Spam. Especially in ministry. I'm like, how do you want to spam? I'm not going to spam. 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 You know, law of attraction, but you're going to attract an audience based on keywords that they're searching for. If we were, I'll just give you an example. Give me something that we're going to search for that you say you were looking for. Um, come on, give me a. All right. So say we go to Ken. Oops. So say we want to look up a business. I don't know. Say we want to look up, I'm going to put myself to the test. Say we're looking for a Christian. Publicist, okay. See what comes up. We can do that. Spell it right, though. Mm. So, ooh, spell it right, Pam. All right. So, say we're, oh, we got Bing here. Ooh. Oh. Uh, so, we're looking for a Christian publicist, right? So, here's Ministry Marketing Solutions. Page one on Bing. How about that? <laughs> um, and then you got the Adams group, you got the bookmark, and whatever. But if someone, and I had someone today from Atlanta call me, she said, um, I remember hearing about you years ago, and we've got this ministry, and I couldn't remember your name. I just remember something pink, and I just, I didn't know, you know, pink Pam. I told her, you know, so anyway, so this whole pink thing is going on, but she couldn't remember the name. She couldn't remember it, so she put in Christian Publicists, and I came up, and hopefully I did when she looked down at the name. She said, oh, that was it, Ministry Marketing Solutions, Pam Perry Book Publicity. That's, that's who I wanted. So when you're looking at keywords, your SEO expert who sets up your website has to make sure that, one, that those keywords are embedded in the site. If you are the young lady back there, I think you were doing short sales or something, that's probably a keyword. And then maybe locally Detroit short sales or, you know, just whatever, just to niche it down. Because you've got to niche it down. The problem with people writing books and not selling is that they didn't niche it down in terms of who their target audience is. It all comes down to target marketing. People spend, for an older company, Nike, they spend millions of dollars on market research. I asked a young lady today, are you taking this? <laughs> uh, 